Hey, this is Russ. I popped an inner tube. <laughs> yeah, I popped an inner tube on my e-bike. But before I tell you that story, let me make a quick announcement here. You know, we made the decision that uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays will be knee replacement videos. And then Tuesdays and Saturdays will be e-bike, fishing, and other type of things, videos. But as I thought more about it, you know, sometimes I do have some things I can tell you on Thursdays and Sundays. So I'm going to say, let's make Thursdays and Sundays uh, bonus day videos. Okay, so if I have something special to tell you, uh, I might post it on a Thursday or a Sunday. But these are not guaranteed dates for videos, all right? These are just bonus videos that on occasion it might happen. Now, if you have the notification button turned on, if you subscribe and put the notification buttons on, you'll know immediately when a video comes out. So you'll know that I published something on Thursday or, or maybe I put something up on Sunday. But if you're not subscribed and you don't have the notica notification button on, you won't know it unless you check it yourself, okay? So that's a benefit of subscribing, <laughs> right? All right, so let me tell you real quickly what happened with this inner tube. Now, I had been reading some of these uh, bike forums on Facebook, and um, one of them said that, you know, I asked a question about slime. Remember slime? <laughs> I asked, how much slime should you put in the tire when you, you know, have a, have a flat? And uh, I had answers from four ounces to eight ounces of slime, something like that. And then I found out, too, that, you know, you, you don't have to put slime in after you have a, a flat. You can put it in before you get a flat, and actually it could help prevent the flat. Now, you think about this. Let's say you run over a small nail, okay? So now air is going to be coming out of that hole that the nail put in there. If the slime is already in the tire, the expelled air through that little hole will push some of that slime into that hole, and that'll seal it. So if you put slime in before you get a flat, you might be able to prevent a flat. Ah. <laughs> so I said, hey, I should put the slime in now before going riding again because it might actually prevent a flat. Okay. So let me say that putting in slime was a lot easier than I thought. All you do is you uh, unscrew the Schrader valve. Okay. The, the, the cap of the slime bottle has a little device here that you stick it in there and then you, you turn it and the, the little stem comes out of the, the Schrader, uh, uh, I guess the inner tube uh, plug. I don't know what they call that thing. <laughs> well, that comes out. All right. And then of course, all the ear comes out too. You should first try to remove the ear. You know, I, I took a little knife and just kind of pushed in the little valve. And then of course, all the air starts coming out, take that ear out. And then once all the ears out, unscrew the, the thing with the little device that comes on the cap and then take the, the valve out of there. And then you pump in the slime. Okay. Now, it's going to be hard for me to show you this because I use a green screen, but because this, this is going to basically wipe out this, this slime bottle because it's green. But there, there's this tube, okay? You put the tube um, into, the, into the, uh, the valve, and then you just pump in four ounces to eight ounces of slime. So I put in the eight ounces of slime in the front tire. I put the valve back on it. And then I start pumping up the tire, okay? And then I rotated the tire a little bit, try to distribute some of the slime. But of course, it doesn't get there enough unless you really ride it, right? So I started pumping up the, the tire with a, a, a hand pump that I have. And um, I also have one of these things. My sister-in-law gave me this many years ago as a Christmas gift. It's a, it's a tire pressure gauge, and I use this for my car tires. It seems to be pretty accurate for the cars. And the tires... Uh, require 20 to 24 pounds of pressure okay so it's not high pressure like like a, like a road bike I mean those things would be like 60 70 pounds or something I think something it's pretty high you only need 20 to 24 for fat tires okay so I pumped it up to 20 pounds okay and then I, I says okay if that's done with let me work on the, the rear tire so I start working on the rear tire and in a few minutes I hear this big pop <laughs> it sounded like a firecracker went off and I looked, and sure enough, flat front tire. <laughs> yeah, the inner tube popped. So <laughs> I'm thinking, gee, was it the slime that caused this? Or was it because I didn't seat it properly on the rim? Or what was it? I, I'm not really sure. I think it's probably because I, I didn't seat it properly. Or maybe the, uh, the inner tube may have been pinched a little bit. Because I, 
I actually didn't take the tire off of the bike. I just kind of worked on it <laughs> on the bike still. So maybe when it goes flat, maybe it was pinching the, the inner tube. I didn't do a good job. So anyways, I finished off the rear tire, okay, and then uh, I pumped in about four ounces of slime because I only it's a 16-ounce bottle. I already used up eight. <laughs> so I put four in there, and I figured I can leave another four ounces for the front tire. So whoever said you, need, you only need four ounces and the instructions say four ounces, um, I have four ounces in each tire now. So anyways, uh, I finish up the, the, the rear tire, and then I lift up the rear tire by holding the seat and uh, just lifting up the rear tire and then I used the throttle and turned the throttle so that the tire would spin. Now, I did notice that the uh, the tire kind of had a thumping. You know, it's not like smooth turning. It was like thump, 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 you know, one of those things. So I think it's because the slime is not perfectly distributed. I think that's what happens because of that. So uh, anyways, um, I ran it for a while and eventually it seemed to smooth out. So so maybe the slime has kind of coated more and then you, you don't have a heavier weight in one side than, than the other. Anyways, so now we got a flat front tire. So I took the wheel off because it is a quick release on the front wheel. And then I uh, removed the tire and removed the inner tube. Now, interestingly, with four inch fat tires, I didn't actually even need to use tire levers. It, it came off really easily, all right? It's not like, uh, you know, really thin rims that have problems. You, you definitely need a tire lever to take the, the, the tire off, but you didn't do need to do that with the fat tire. So uh, I took the tube out. There was not slime all over the place because it wasn't really distributed in there anyways, but I'll show you a picture of the blowout. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. You can't patch this. This is just too big of a blowout. This is not like a nail that went through. This is a total blowout, okay? So uh, these are the original uh, inner tubes that came with the Rad Power Bike when I bought it. All right, so uh, luckily I had a secondary tube uh, that I bought uh, from Rad Power Bikes, and so I installed that, uh, and uh, I put the tube inside the, I took the entire tire off the rim first off. Then I put the, um, the tube into the rim itself, uh, into the tire itself, pumped it up a little bit so it was round. Then I reinstalled it into the, uh, the uh, tire rim, okay? Making sure that the, the, the valve uh, goes through the little hole uh, of the rim so that you could line it up. And I tried to make sure that this thing was not pinching at all or anything like that in case that's what's caused the, uh, the blowout. Uh, but then I decided, okay, well, I still have four more ounces of slime. So I put the slime in there and then uh, pumped up the tire, okay? And then I reinstalled it onto the bike. So um, each tire now has four ounces of slime. The front tire is not evenly distributed yet. I'm gonna have to do that as I'm riding, I think. Um, but they're slimed, <laughs> all right? Now, as sad it is, as it is to have had a blowout already, uh, I'm glad it happened here and not on the, on the road. But it did teach me how to uh, put an inner tube into the tire it wasn't that hard okay it actually was very easy to do it didn't take that long either so uh now if it was the back tire that's another story because now you have to take a wrench to take the tire off it doesn't have a quick release and then you've got the derailleur to move out of the way and all that but the concept is exactly the same so now i know that i'm able to do it i, I hadn't changed uh, a flat on a on a bicycle since maybe freshman year or sophomore year of high school <laughs> so just like riding a bike you don't forget all right so okay so good and bad bad that i blew it out good that it happened now and good that i know how to do it and both tires now have slime in it <laughs> anyways um don't fear changing the tire but changing the tire in the field could be a hassle yeah so Okay, anyways, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. So, tires are fixed. Um, watch on Thursdays and Sundays for potential videos that might come out. Again, it might happen. It might not happen. These are just bonus videos if I have things to tell you. And um, if you subscribe and use the notifications, it'll tell you immediately. Otherwise, you'll have to manually check it yourself. <laughs> right? But uh, we will remain with our typical uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for new replacement videos. And then uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays for e-bike fishing and other things that I have interest in. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys next time.